as you might have noticed the um, the crosshair and firing is a little bit static I mean uh, the crosshair sits there in the middle when we are firing so what we are going to do we are going to make our crosshair or reticle uh, dynamic yeah so to do it we're gonna swap out the current um, let's see crosshair where we use an image to something from the UI yep so let's open up the canvas and let's create a new uh, child and uh, let's call this uh, reticule but reticule and then another child let's call this uh, cross and then we're gonna take uh, make the first part let's call this one top um, now make, let's make sure the scene is also in view maybe entirely in view uh, I'm sorry the game because we want to see the crosshair so let's um, select the top and add um, an image to let's uh, let's add an image to the um, to the game object just a simple uh, image um, I'm sorry delete this one create a new UI uh, image okay currently it's white so we don't see it here but if we change it to uh, well whatever you want to make your reticule color I'm gonna make it uh, red for now like this so now you can see it here and let's um, let's create a, a different width so I'm gonna make it one uh, wide and about uh, six units high so you can see it here and then let's call this one top let's duplicate it by pressing ctrl D F2 to rename and then let's call this button so this is the same but they are, they are on top of each other so we're gonna change the Y position because you can see if I change the Y position it will adjust it here now let's uh, put this like uh, at the top I'm sorry the bottom at minus six or something and the top at six there we go so we got a small gap with uh, on the crosshair and let's uh, create a new image uh, even better we should uh, duplicate another one let's call this left and then we need to change it accordingly of course so it's going to be uh, instead of one width it's going to be uh, a six width only one height at position zero and minus six to the left there it goes and now duplicate this one let's call this right and let's shift this to the right okay so now we have a very simple crosshair uh, which is always in the center of our screen right now so if we uh, look at it you can see it's uh, it's here it feels a little bit laggy if you now moves move the mouse around uh, we can change that but this is uh, the first thing we need to we need to do to, to change the uh, the crosshair so let's go back to the crosshair here and open it up and then just remove everything because we are going to change the crosshair script entirely uh, because we don't need the uh, image anymore so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a serializable field serialized field for a float for a speed so the speed at which the crosshair moves and then we make a reference to our uh, trans uh, our reticule right now the um, we're gonna make it public so we can access it from um, from other scripts right now we have the crosshair in our combat script and um, yeah we're gonna keep it there too <laughs> uh, let's see then we get our transforms from our reticule so it's gonna be the cross stop transform cross bottom transform cross left and the transforms cross right because what we are going to do, we're gonna move these uh, these transform around when we are firing our our uh, when we are having recoil. Uh, and then let's make um, um, let's see in our start method. So start. 
we're going to get a reference to our cross top so it's going to be cross top equals to radicule find child and now it's important to have the correct oops it's important to have the correct name um, so we just made the radicule it's radicule cross and then top and it's case sensitive so we're going to find the child cross top and then we're going to get the transform for it we're going to do the same for bottom left and right so bottom cross left and cross right right left bottom so now we have all the um, references to the radicule the, the 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 poles or how do you call it and then um, let's get a start point of our current radicule where it is uh, positioned right now so let's get a float radicule start point and radicule start point equals to the cross top uh, local position y so we are getting the this one the number six so we know what our distance is of our uh, radicule and because all our poles are uh, six uh, units away from center we can uh, use this value for all our poles poles to change them around okay so now we go to the update method let's let's first increase this a little bit so you can better see what I'm doing without uh, destroying your eyes okay so now we need to know if uh, no let's make the uh, let's get a reference to the position again so we're gonna position it where the crosshair uh, was before as well the, the the image so the screen position equals to camera main so it's our main camera then we get our world to screen point transforms position so we are getting uh, from the current crosshair transform we're gonna uh, get the screen point from from the world location yeah so we can position it on the screen like we did previously and then we're gonna say radicule uh, transforms position equals to our factor 3 I'm gonna lurk to watch it so it takes a little bit more time uh, radicule from our current radical position towards a new screen position in speed uh, times time delta time so now the transform of our radicule moves towards the screen position uh, in this time so we're lurping towards that position before we continue we need to uh, get rid of these uh, these uh, slashes in front because it, that won't work and now let's assign the um, values to the crosshair I'm sorry the radicule to the crosshair and let's set a speed of uh, maybe like 12 or something um, the lower the speed the more lag you will feel when you are uh, looking around so now we can see we have a different crosshair which is currently always uh, visible uh, it works exactly in the same way we had uh, before okay so if you want to have it lag more behind your mouse just lower the speed whoops so this feels real slow so I think 12 is pretty good okay so that um, that works uh, as expected and now let's um, we want to increase the size of the reticule when we are firing our weapon um, and the best place we can do that is in our uh, weapon recoil uh, because we have a percentage here which we can uh, uh, use um, yeah which we can use to scale our crosshair size okay let's first make a method to scale our crosshair in uh, the crosshair script um, let's uh, make it uh, public void apply scale I think this is uh, okay 
Uh, let's give this a, a scale or maybe a factor or well, let's do it scale. This will be cross uh, top. We're going to change the position, the local position of these poles of our crosshair to a new factor 3. Uh, then we're going to um, uh, keep it at the x value and then we get, uh, get the radical start point which was uh, 6 when it loads. So it takes the local position and we're going to add the scale and we're not going to change the z-axis. Okay, so this is for the top. For the cross bottom, we're going to do the same except we're going to uh, take a minus radical start point and then we're going to subtract the scale. And for the cross left, we're going to move it to a minus uh, radical start point and we're going to rem uh, subtract the scale and we're going to keep the x-axis at zero and for the right we're going to move it to the right and we're going to add the scale okay so it was at six and we're going to apply the scale it was at minus six and we're going to uh, remove uh, or apply the scale as well so it moves to the left okay so now we can apply the scale let's uh, also um, let's see we need a reference in our weapon recall now the weapon recall is currently in our shared folder so we probably want to move this to not to our shared because it's pretty uh, how do you say tied to this game so we don't really need it in the shared but we're gonna change that uh, later probably if we don't uh, forget so now let's go to the weapon recoil and let's see here so when we are firing this is here let's say uh, let's get a reference to the crosshair uh, that would be uh, would be wise so let's make a crosshair crosshair can it can be private crosshair this gets and then check if the m crosshair equals to null uh, you can also write this by the way if you like it does the same check but I just always do it like this because it uh, well tells me more what I'm checking so then we're gonna get the game manager instance local player player aim get component in children and we're going to get the crosshair okay the reason we do this is that we only want to um, uh, get the crosshair from our local player yeah? and then we're going to say return the M crosshair Oops. So, so now we have our crosshair and then we can say this crosshair apply scale and um, what we are basically going to apply is um, let's first just do the percentage um, and see what happens oops there we go so if we fire now uh, you can see it move a little bit but it's way too uh, it's way too small. So we're gonna scale this by a strength. Um, let's see. Uh, I already have this strength uh, here. Let's see strength. Uh, we can use the strength. Yeah. Let's use the same strength as we ha as we use in the layer. Uh, uh, for the uh, I'm sorry for the aim target offset so what we're gonna do we're gonna scale this uh, multiply this by a random range uh, of uh, strength let's multiply this by some number let's say uh, seven or something and strength times nine um, random range 
So what we are uh, basically doing is we are uh, applying a random value between strength times seven and strength times nine. I'm gonna apply this to our uh, percentage. There we go. Now it now it goes up. It, it won't go back, so we need to change that. Uh, we can change this uh, here. Now we don't want to go back to zero right away. Um, so now we need to get. Uh, hmm, let's see. Let's make a method out of the uh, percentage here. Get. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. This is a float get percentage and this takes in uh, let's see recall active time we have the recall active time so let's um, return this part are we forgetting anything or will this work? I think this will work. And we also going to do this here in when we are not holding the fire button. We gonna say uh, this crosshair apply scale, and then we just gonna say uh, get percentage. Not really sure what the effect will be, but we'll we'll see. Yeah, so it increases when we are firing and it will you can see it will it will take a random value when we are at 100% so it will shake a little bit and it will go back to uh, zero and then the last part is skills down a little bit fa uh, a little bit so what we're gonna do if the recall active time equals to zero and the offset target equals to zero we are also gonna say crosshair apply scale to zero yeah, so we are not up going to apply any scale when we are not shooting or, or, or stop shooting so let's see I think this works okay cool so now when we are firing it's less obvious where we are hitting Okay, you can fiddle around with it any, <laughs> any way you want. Okay, that's it for now. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care.